to my channel. Today is a chilly day, so we are making the perfect fall drink in our crock pot. This is also a collaboration video, so I want to say thank you to Jessica Myros and Tiffany from Small Town 6 for hosting this. I will leave their links down below as well as the playlist. And I want to say that this is going to be super yummy and it's quick, easy. You can make it your own way. You can add things, omit things, however you want to do it, but it's apple cider and crock pot. So we have our crock pot. I love this thing. If y'all saw my kitchen favorites, you would know that that's part of it. Yeah, I had to put that in there because I use this all the time. But anyways, I'll leave that video down below too. But you need your crock pot. You need apples. These were reduced apples that we got. The, the, um, the clearance from Kroger, they were like 99 cents a bag. So we got two bags and chopped those up in I there. I think they're Cosmic Crisp and... I don't know. It's like a variety of apples. Yeah. But you can use whatever. You can use a more tart apple, more sweet apple. It's Any, really up to you. Anything but Red Delicious. There you go. The beard has spoken. Anything but Red Delicious. So there's that. So you need apples, cinnamon sticks, water, whole cloves, oranges and lemons. You can omit the oranges and lemons and cranberries if you want. We're not because this adds a little bit of a tartness to it. So... We're going to add our apples. Oh, our apples. And we just use our apple core thingy to put them in there. Oranges and lemon. I just cut up an orange and a lemon. And my sister gave me these. So that was super nice of her. Because I didn't want to buy them. And she bought a bag. So I got one of them. Some cranberries. One cup of cranberries. You can omit those if you want. A teaspoon, tablespoon of... These. A good guess. Oh, yeah, there's that. I can't get that open. I got it. Ha ha. That's, yeah. And these are whole clothes. And then I'm going to do probably three cinnamon sticks. We'll see how it goes. Because cinnamon is delicious. Sometimes less is more, and sometimes more is great. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to do one. And it has to be cinnamon sticks. It cannot be the powdered cinnamon or anything like that. It has to be cinnamon sticks because you will be straining this out at the end. So if you, if you, you, there's a way to do it with the powdered spices. If you don't have the whole, you can put them in a tea bag and then take the tea well, bag out. But it's, the way that we're doing it is we're going to get our mesh strainer, or not mesh strainer, but our um, strainer, and we're going to strain all this out. But you can use like a, um, a cheesecloth and tie it up, like put twine around it or whatever, or whatever, and you can put the, um, the powdered things in there, but we're not doing that, so we're doing this. And then some water to cover it, probably eight to 10 cups of water, just to cover it. Guys, that looks so pretty. I'm making this for Christmas. That's it's gonna good. make your house smell delicious. And this is all you do to make um, apple cider. Y'all, I keep wanting to say apple cider vinegar, and it's not apple cider vinegar, it's apple cider. So if I say that, I'm really sorry. But you do this, you put the lid on, you cook it for six to eight hours on low. Once that's done, you um you strain it out with the strainer, and then you add sugar. You mash it first. Sorry, the beard is doing this. You mash it. You strain it out with the strainer. Liquid goes into your serving bowl thing, and then you add sugar to taste. So this is all you do. It's so simple, and it smells really good. It's gonna smell really good. And the chickens can eat all the solids that are left over. Cause there's no seeds in apple. Yes. Oh. And there's no sweetness in it. Do chickens eat lemons? Yeah. Do chickens like lemons? Yeah. Oh, well then, okay then. I guess I'll like something new Chickens are tiny dinosaurs. They'll eat anything. Okay, guys, but that's all you do. So we will check back in with you in a couple hours, show you the progress, mash it up, string it out, add sugar, and enjoy. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back. We're going to show you what it looks like. We did mash it halfway through. So there's that, and we have a monster up here who does not feel very well. Say so hi. He's clinging to mommy. Okay. I had to go to a meeting, mommy. so there's that. <sighs> okay, so we're going to mash it again, and then I'm going to ladle on this. This is just my kid's Kool-Aid jug. 
I don't really need to mash it again. Oh god, monster head. So, as you can see, this has been on low all day. Like it just it falls apart. So, I'm going to ladle it in, in you here. You gonna be our taste tester? And it should just push all the liquid through. Give me another bowl, babe, so I can dump this whenever it gets full. Okay guys, so this is literally just the process. You can see it coming out there. We are going to go ahead and get this done and then I will be back to show you the finished results. This is what it looks like all strained out. The crock pot's empty. This is our um, leftovers. Now we are going to put in the sugar. Oh lord. This is just... Ah, okay. <laughs> it's um, half a cup of brown sugar. You can use whatever sugar you want. And then some honey. Maybe. This is a th fourth cup of honey. We like things sweet. Yeah. The beard said it. They look good. It does or it doesn't? Yes, it's a good. And Monster has a bit of a cold, so this warmth I think will help him. Watch out! <laughs> Alright, here Monster, I'm going to pour you some, but you got to be real careful. It's hot, okay? Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm going to make sure it's not too hot. That is not sweet enough. It's not? Mm -mm. Did I? <laughs> um. Hey, Daddy. Okay, guys. So, um. Hey, it was way too bitter the first time. So, uh. We had to figure out what we screwed up. And, um. We put in about another cup of white sugar because it was way too bitter but now it's okay so for a side note you can do white and brown sugar because that's what we did and there was about half cup of brown sugar and a cup of white sugar a cup of white sugar makes it so much better now we're going to do the ultimate taste test for monster and see if this will make him feel better there you go let's try it out monster here it's super hot blow on it baby Blow on it. Not fair nothing. Hold on. It's hot. And it may not fair nothing. Okay, here. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, sit down and eat it. Good? And now, you guys, we're going to pour everybody else some. And we're going to enjoy it because it's like 38. 26. 26 degrees, 38 degrees, something like that. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will try to leave the recipe either down below or in the um, doobly-doo. Yeah, there Description we go. Description box. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And I want to say thank you again to the host and co-host for this video. And I will see y'all in my next video. And the host and co-host list hey, Tiffany from Smoke and Six and Jessica from Jessica Mara. So Hey, what do they need to do? Like and go. Okay. There we go. Like and subscribe. Alright, we'll see y'all later. Bye.